Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thank you for joining me. Right, you have not, uh, if this is your first time joining my channel, uh, my channel is all about having fun making coffee. And today we're going to do a quick unboxing of another machine which we carry, which is the uh, Lelit um, Elizabeth. Um, I will just be showing you the unboxing and what's you, what you get in the Elizabeth. Uh, and I'm also going to switch out the uh, power plug to the local 3-pin plug because uh, the lead doesn't ship us uh, the UK 3-pin. Uh, they actually ship us with the Euro plug, um, which is not properly grounded for Singapore use. So usually we will switch out for our customers so that it's safe for them to use in Singapore. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick one. Uh, so bear with me. So uh, basically it comes with an instructional manual. So uh, it's pretty thick, it's a user manual, it's PL92T, latest edition. Uh, it's got many different languages, um, English, Italian, um, Dutch, uh, French, uh, Espanol, Romania, um, quite quite a lot of different languages in this book right so um, a little later on probably i'll give you a read uh, it also comes with a safety note right um, it says that uh, in english important uh, warnings please be carefully before use right uh, blah 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 again i'll read this probably later on uh, it also comes with an electrical test report that show you that this machine has been factory tested and it has passed all the different uh, checking. For example, you've been checked for ground continuity. Uh, it's very important because if the machine is not properly grounded, sometimes when you switch on the machine, you will feel a slight electric shock when you touch the metal casing. Uh, it also checks the dielectric strength, the isolation, the impedance and the absorption and all the test results are good. Um, the little is Lilith, um, Elizabeth is actually a dual boiler machine and but they really pack uh, the dual boiler in a very uh, small kind of a form factor and the machine is actually pretty light uh, being a dual boiler as compared to the um, Lily Bianca which is a very very he heavy and very messy machine. Uh, we also be doing an unboxing on the Lily Bianca um, so currently, our, our shop is selling the three models, the Lily Marax, the Bianca, and the uh, Elizabeth. So these are the three models that we are, our shop carries so far. So let me just do the quick unboxing. Um, as usual, the Lily uh, usually pack their machines really well. It comes with all the cushions, right? So they, are, they really make use of all the cardboard. So you can see that this cardboard is here to sort of cushion the machine from knocking sideways. And uh, yeah, we can just lift it up this way. And there you go, that's actually the, uh, the top cushion. And it comes pre-wrapped in a plastic film. But normally because we'll be switching out the uh, electrical cable to local streaming plug for our local customer in Singapore. So uh, sometimes we may not be closing this back uh, to, to cover it back again. but. Uh, we'll try to remember that, but sometimes if we don't, right, we'll probably put the bag separately because anyway, the customers when they go back, they will actually un they'll open this and then they will see the machine that's inside. So uh, yeah, sometimes we we may forget, so bear with us. So let me lift up the machine. You can see I can lift up with two hands. Okay, let me show you how the machine looks like. So inside the box, there's pretty, nothing much. There's another cushion at the inside. Let me show you. Uh, there's another cushion that's inside to support the machine so that during shipping, uh, when the machine do shake, it will still be cushioned at the four corners. So I think this is really well taught. The box is pretty sturdy. All right, so let me show you the machine. Let me lift it up and show you in front. Oof. Right, despite the fact that I say it's uh, light, uh, when I say light, I, I meant comparing with the Bianca and the Marax, this is considered a lighter machine. So it comes with a plastic wrap. Right, so a really very handsome machine. Uh, very modern, even though it has uh, 
it has a vintage design but then the the dial makes the machines really really modern and the temperature controller and the pressure gauge the three simple button i believe this is the steam one and you can see that they also pack the accessories with a cardboard and you can just simply pull it out right adjust your steam one sideway right you can see they even have a cutout here for your steam one to move so now i can just pull this out right okay let me show you what comes with the accessories okay let me uh, put this on the floor right it comes with a high quality water softener filter right uh, in singapore it is really up to you whether you want to use this but we recommend that you use this as you when you connect it to your water tank so that it actually uh, purify your water and also at the same time soften the water for you uh, singapore water is pretty soft so you don't really have to worry too much but this will probably last you for quite some time right so this is the uh you can purify 35 liters of water right and i think inside the water tank they will have an indicator to tell you when you install this so you roughly know how long you have uh, been how long this filter has been installed right so this is the filter right let me see what's inside the box here i'm quite sure the polar filter is here yes and this is the double spout polar filter as you can see there's actually a little uh, laser engraved uh, sign there uh, it's actually signed Lilith and you must be wondering whether the filter basket actually comes with the IMF baskets or not right so now, right now I'm going to show you whether the latest editions of uh, Elizabeth do comes with uh, does comes with uh, the IMS filter baskets for the double shot baskets right so as usual I'm going to use this to uh, take out the baskets actually from the blind basket itself let me show you right not sure whether it will be picked up by the camera right can you see that yep this is actually by IMS I'm quite sure you can see that by now right even the blind basket is by, by IMS right right so this is actually the double spout I mean the double shot baskets non-pressurized of course and let me show you a uh, close look by the camera okay, I hope you can focus right you can see that it's also by IMS right so the basket is IMS uh, let me check the single shot basket okay the single shot basket is not marked so I probably uh, I think that probably the single shot basket it's not from IMS bus. Uh, it's not manufactured by IMS because there's no marking here whatsoever. So this is just a, um, probably by Lily themselves. I'm not too sure. Right. So it comes with three different, uh, two different size basket and one blind basket. Uh, the border filter, right? Uh, this is a plastic border filter, slightly rectangular uh, in size. Um, the plastic on the handle doesn't look very high quality. Uh, but it feels okay and most importantly as all Lilith accessories especially the portal filter right which is which set it different from other manufacturers is the way uh, when you align when you when you when you lay the portal filter flat on the surface right let me show you it actually uh, level out can you see that uh, the, the container the, the portal filter is actually flat level with the surface which means when you tam your coffee, right, it's going to be level. So I think uh, I'm not too sure whether other manufacturer has done that. Uh, I'm quite sure Quick Meal doesn't have it. Um, the VBM doesn't have it. Uh, our Molesto, which is manufactured from China, also doesn't have with perfectly flat horizontal uh, kind of uh, arrangement for the portal filter. So this is something quite neat by Lilith. And uh, yeah, they still ship. The plastic temper, uh, I think this probably has to be improved. Um, I'm quite sure it does, it, it still does the job. Uh, but then, uh, this is not a cheap machine. So, uh, this, these tools really make it uh, look cheaper. So, I think nowadays, uh, a proper temper doesn't really cost that much. So, maybe Lily can consider changing this to a proper temper with a heavier feel. 
so that it gives the entire package a better feeling, more premium looking. Uh, the scoop spoon, a uh, scoop for coffee beans, uh, actually, of course, it's in plastic. So that's what you get from the accessory box. So let me place the basket back. And inside the drip tray, there's something else. All right, so I'm going to show you very quickly what's inside the drip tray. Right, of course, inside the drip tray, it comes with a power cord. Right, and of course, the power cord is the UK plug, which of course, I'm going to switch out for our local 3 pin plug later on for safety reasons. Um, the, the UK plug, I mean the Euro plug is different. I think their earth is not protruding out. But the UK plug, all the three pins are protruding out, right? So that's slightly different. Uh, if you use the two pin on local uh, voltage, uh, it will not be properly grounded. So it, it's pretty dangerous, right? So normally, uh, if you get a machine that's shipped with Euro plug, and if the machine is the metal on the outside, I would suggest you switch out to a local three pin plug because it's properly grounded. So if, in case there's a current leakage and touch the, the Live wire actually touches the uh, casing of the metal, right? It actually prevents electrical shock, right? So this is something uh, is good for you to change, right? So uh, for our customers, we'll switch out for you. No worry about that. Right, let's see what else inside. Okay, this is the drip tray cover, right? Um, this is pretty sharp, right? I, I hope they can actually sort of uh, grind, this, grind this down or polish it slightly. So that you know it's not so sharp. I can actually be cut by this if I hand I, if I don't handle it with care. So I mean the finishing of the machine is quite good, but they can certainly do better on the drip tray cover. So this is pretty sharp. So when you handle this drip tray cover, right, do watch out, right? This corner here is actually pretty sharp. Right, there are four corners here. Yeah, even the all the sides is pretty sharp, right? Right, so other than that, all the corners, right, are pretty uh when I touch them, right, uh, there's a bit of, uh, there's a little bit of metal here, it's not covered, so it is, uh, it has a, a little bit of kind of a feeling, if uh, I'm not too sure whether it will cut you, but then um, do be careful, especially at the edges where it's not wrapped, so uh, this is something uh, you have to watch out for, right, uh, for when you, when you, when you use the uh, Elizabeth, uh, because I think there are some corners here which is not really covered. Uh, by the metal, right? There's actually uh, a little bit of sharp edges here. So when you handle the drip tray, does do be careful, right? Other than that, uh, the drip tray is quite wide and quite deep. Um, and inside it has this. Uh, what is this? This is actually the milk liquid. I think it is for you to. It's a detergent to uh, to clean out your uh, steam wand. So this is actually a deter detergent for that. Right, it's a 25 ml tube, right? Uh, I have not really used this before, but it comes with it. It has also has the detergent for Machina Cafe. I believe this is the back flushing detergent, which is in powder form. Uh, it comes with three satchels, and it also comes with a raised uh, tray. If your cup is a little bit shallow and too low, you can actually use this to prop up your cup, so the cup will be closer to the powder filter. So basically, that's what you have uh, on the Lily Elizabeth. Okay, so let me put this back. Right, so be careful, these are pretty sharp. So when you handle this, you have to be a bit more careful. Right, the form factor is really quite nice on the machine. So if your counter countertop is not big, uh, you may actually consider this. Uh, the height, I believe, uh, let me take the measuring tape and measure for you. Right, okay, so basically the height of this machine is um, about 38 cm or about 12 and a half inches in, in height. The width of this machine is about 30 cm, which is about, uh, let me see, about one, one foot and the depth of the machine is about 27 cm, right? 27 cm or about 9 inches. So this, this is the kind of size you are looking at, uh, uh, the form factor of this machine, right? which is pretty compact. 
right? So of course the water tank is at the top, right? It has a water tank cover, right? So this is the cover. And of course it comes with a two tube kind of system, right? A free standard for this type of machine. And oh, okay, it comes with a, a traditional old kind of a plastic uh, water container. Right, I believe, okay, let me, see, let me see how many liters is this. I'll probably read the instruction later to check out how many liters this is, right? Yeah, so it doesn't come with the indicator uh, as the same on the Marax, whereby when you place the uh, water filter inside, the water softener, it actually tells you, uh, you can actually set the date uh, when you install it so that you can, uh, you can keep track of how long you have used the water filter or water softener. So this is something good on the Marax. But because this is dual boiler, which means to say that you can actually froth coffee, uh, froth milk and uh, and uh, steam a milk and brew your coffee at the same time. Uh, so pretty compact machine, and uh, I, I like the design. Even though there are a little bit of sharp edges here and there, but I just have to watch out for those. On the overall, uh, the machine is very really handsome, right? It's really very nice looking. All the surroundings are are not the uh, other. What you call this uh, matte kind of finish? Uh, it's not the polished stainless steel kind, whereby you can see your own reflection. This is the more of a, a matte kind of finishing, right? Uh, similarly, on the Marax, you also have this kind of uh, um, matte finishes, so that it doesn't. It's easier to maintain as compared to uh, the other glossy and shiny machine, like my BBM as well as my Quick Mill. They are really, really uh, reflective, highly polished. So if you have a stain there. You can actually see the stain and you just have to clean it constantly, right? Uh, I'm a bit OCD, so I have to clean the machine. I, I don't like my, uh, my machine to have watermark, coffee splashes on it, and I just can't stand those, right? <laughs> this is just me. I, I like to keep my machine uh, looking good all the time, right? So after I make coffee, I will spend some time cleaning the machine up. Uh, yeah, so that's actually uh, our, our uh, Lilith Elizabeth. So currently we have stock. If you are interested, right, please uh, drop us an email, right? Uh, by now, uh, you should, um, maybe I haven't really officially announced our company name, right? Our company name is under Speedy 3D Creations. Uh, a lot of you, uh, a lot of my followers say that, uh, you know, why do you have a name that doesn't sound like a cat, sounds like a coffee roaster or, or a company that sells coffee machine, right? There's a, re there's a reason actually behind that. Why do, we, why do I call my company three, Speedy 3D Creations? Because my company first started with 3D printing and 3D design. And uh, yeah, so that's when we started. And uh, I still, I, I like the name pretty much, even though it is not directly related to coffee. But um, yeah, that's, that's what our company name is at the moment. So it's, the company name is Speedy 3D Creations, right? If you are looking for our company website, uh, currently, we are applying all the safety mark for all our machines. So in uh, very soon, all our machines will be advertised on our website. Currently, if you go to our website, it is not listed because uh, we have not we have not uh, got it uh, proven. Uh, I mean, got it approved by uh, submitting the safety mark. But the machines are very safe. It has all been checked in Italy. It has passed all the QC and all the electrical. Uh, all the electrical component has been checked. So it's very safe to use, right? Just that we have not officially obtained the safety mark for Singapore market, which we are in the midst of applying them. So uh, it's still very safe to use, right? And uh, we actually warrant this machine for 12 months locally uh, for as long as it's not due to factory uh, uh, manufacturing default. default. So uh, we'll just co we'll cover. So uh, anything that's user, uh, caused by user, for, for example, right, uh, on the Bianca, you have the flow controller. So that flow controller, if uh, any damages to a flow controller, uh, is not under the warranty because that is actually caused by user. And um, yeah, many of, uh, maybe there's a lot of people in the forum says that the machine uh, on the Bianca, especially the flow control, has a, is a faulty design. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but so far, all the machine I've sold has no issue except one customer which I'm trying to repair for him. Uh, I think his flow control has a has an issue. He's no longer able to control the flow water. So I think the the flow controller is actually damaged. Uh, yeah, so that we have to uh, use our replacement part to replace it, and uh, they will be uh, chargeable. Uh, of course, parts and labor. 
because that's not under the warranty. So uh, when you use a uh, high-end machine such as the Bianca with flow control, please use it with care because that's not part of the warranted um, component, right? So uh, anywhere and tear item is definitely not under warranty, right? So the needle, right, you have to really use with care. I mean the, the pedal, right? So okay, so that's all we have for you uh, today, right? So uh, if you are first time uh, joining my channel, right, my channel is all about having fun making coffee. My channel name is Cafe Matella Singapore, right? And uh, do remember to subscribe to my channels and like my videos. And if you like what we do, right, do share with your friends. And uh, currently we are in stock. All our machines are in stock right now. Uh, all our ranges of Lilith. All our range of uh, VBM and our quick meals and our uh, molesto, our uh, Bassetto is all in stock, right? Uh, we are very low on our stock on DF64, but we still have about two units. So if you want a unit of DF64, uh, please approach us quickly. Again, my uh, email address is speedy3dcreations.com. I will put on, I will put a link on top so that you can actually uh, uh, follow the link to drop us a message if you want to. And I'll probably uh, leave my contact WhatsApp number there as well so that it's easier for you to contact me. So that's all for you today. And thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. And stay safe.